Hello, you beautiful, beautiful human. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shara Lou and I am a self-love advocate who's on a journey to improving my overall well-being in mind and body. I think it was about two weeks ago, yikes, <laughs> I did a very spontaneous Instagram live where I was unapologetically my emotional self. I felt like I had like a breakthrough where I was understanding what living with intention really means to me and how I'm beginning to do that <laughs> because I want to feel again and I just I wasn't living I wasn't doing things with intention and now that intention has become me and I'm not ashamed to say it I'm not ashamed to feel it it may seem selfish to other people who are looking into my experience but I can't give to you if I can't start with me. And being in touch with myself and my spirit and my soul and just little things, taking it one day at a time. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about the eight healthy habits I have incorporated in my life that has really helped me with my sense of mindfulness, clarity, and just improving my sense of motivation and feeling energized. And just so you know, this is not a fix-all, cure-all. This is just from my experience alone. I do still have my down days and bad days, but since I started doing these, my good days have become plenty. Now let's get started. Habit number one, making my good old bed. It's literally the simplest thing to do, and I'm sure it's habitual for everyone else, but as someone who has suffered with depression, getting out of bed alone can be tough. So when I make my bed, I feel like it's a completed task and I feel like I did something today. If you want to change the world, start off by making your bed. If you make your bed every morning, you will have accomplished the first task of the day. It will give you a small sense of pride and it will encourage you to do another task and another and another. And by the end of the day, that one task completed will have turned into many tasks completed. Making your bed will also reinforce the fact that the little things in life matter. If you can't do the little things right, you'll never be able to do the big things right. And if by chance you have a miserable day, you will come home to a bed that is made. That you made. And a made bed gives you encouragement that tomorrow will be better. And a made bed completes a clean room, which falls into habit number two, cleaning. To me, a clear space can lead to a clear mind and I have not been the cleanest person my whole entire life. And so there came a point where I thought, well, I guess this is kind of who I am, a girl who can't keep up with her mess. But then I realized I have the freaking power to change that. <laughs> and I did. So that also turns into habit number three, which is doing tasks as soon as I think of them ASAP, no procrastination, because when I don't put my laundry away as soon as it's done, it leads into a snowball effect that just rolls on downhill and it just doesn't stop. So again, if I don't put away my laundry, that means I feel crappy. I start leaving clothes and everything everywhere. I'm not drinking my water every day. And it just leads to so much so quickly and I hate having that constantly happen. So I've made a choice to no longer procrastinate or try my best not to procrastinate because once it's done, girl, it's done and there's no physical or mental clutter. Healthy habit number four, cleaning out that social media following. I have always had a problem with comparing myself to other people and social media can definitely fuel that envious fire. The more that I started to feel down and out about myself and my self-esteem was just at an all-time low, I started to wonder, what am I really getting out of social media? Is it like an escape for me? Am I getting anything positive or valuable out of it? Is it benefiting me in any way? Does what I'm seeing motivate me to do something? Or are my insecurities getting the best of me, which means I'm feeling very jealous and envious of this person rather than celebrating their accomplishment or their highlight. So I have been sorting through who and what I follow on all social media platforms to where I only follow people, pages, companies who leave positive, inspiring, and valuable content on my feed. Habit number five, getting up and moving, baby. 
When I really started to think of what living with intention meant, I immediately thought of going on a walk because despite my knee problems, my asthma, my allergies, I knew that getting my body up and doing something was bound to help my mental state in some way, shape or form. So I took accountability of my excuses and I did what I had to do by doing my knee exercises, taking my allergy and asthma medication regularly again, and I took it to the streets. Well, the sidewalk. And since going on walks, it's given me a chance to actually see the world around me. And I started to pay attention to details and the colors of nature and the people walking by. Now, given it's close to winter, there's still some beauty that sticks out and is just incredibly therapeutic. Healthy habit number six, which is a must in my day-to-day -day life, and that is music. I honestly say that music is my religion because as an empath, a former dancer, or someone who's very in tune with her emotions, I feel and hear music a lot differently compared to most people, I think. So I think about a year ago, and I remember I was in my car escaping, driving somewhere, and Lizzo's Like a Girl came on and I just felt like a badass. I felt so empowered, I was like, dang! I've heard this song before, but I've never felt like this before. So then that's when I started to make this playlist, which I call my depression cure playlist. This playlist is a compilation of music from so many genres that just really inspire me, empower me, hypes me up, calms me down, and just puts me in a better mood no matter how I'm feeling. Songs can go from Kelly Clarkson to Motley Crue to T.I. in a split second. And this kind of music is something that I never get tired of and I'm always adding more to it. I'll leave a link to the playlist in the description box below so you can add it to your music library and just feel all the positive vibes throughout your day as well. Lucky habit number seven, the color yellow. There's something called color psychology, which there are plenty of studies that prove colors really do have a major impact on your mental health, your emotions, and how you react to certain things. So for me, the color yellow invokes the feeling of joy and light, and I feel a different type of energy when I see it. It also gives me a sense of motivation to keep going no matter what, because I also associate optimism with yellow. And that's the outlook I want to have for the rest of my life, despite what comes my way. That's also why I love sunflowers, because they too have such a beautiful significance of positivity and growth. And the final and eighth habit I have incorporated in my life is opening the blinds and the curtains in my room. I have never ever been a morning person. I always loathed the speck of light that would come through my room before it's my time to wake up. So eventually I got blackout curtains and once I sunk into my depression, they were closed at all times to refrain from seeing any sunlight, which meant I would sleep as much as possible. Sleep was my escape from reality, which was the sadness and darkness I had in myself. When I realized I want and need to make a change for myself for the better, opening the curtains, blinds, and windows to let the light in was my very first habit that I knew I needed to change. And since then, there has definitely been a spark in my mind, my heart, and my spirit. And seeing the light gives me life again. And that's it. Those are the habits that I have incorporated in my life for the past few months. And they have really helped with my attitude, my outlook on things, especially myself. And that's just simply starting with making my bed in the morning to still seeing bright yellow in the darkest of night. I definitely intend to add more to this list as time goes on. So let me know down in the comments below, what healthy habits do you have in your daily routine that adds value to your life? Until my next video, remember to be true, be you, and love you.